United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, Article 111, Right of Hot Pursuit, 1. The hot pursuit of a foreign ship may be undertaken when the competent authorities of the coastal state have good reason to believe that the ship has violated the laws and regulations of that state. Such pursuit must be commenced when the foreign ship or one of its boats is within the internal waters, the archipelagic waters, the territorial sea, or the contiguous zone of the pursuing state, and may only be continued outside the territorial sea or the contiguous zone if the pursuit has not been interrupted. It is not necessary that, at the time when the foreign ship within the territorial sea or the contiguous zone receives the order to stop, the ship giving the order should likewise be within the territorial sea or the contiguous zone. If the foreign ship is within a contiguous zone, as defined in Article 33, the pursuit may only be undertaken if there has been a violation of the rights for the protection of which the zone was established. 2. The right of hot pursuit shall apply mutatis mutandis to violations in the exclusive economic zone or on the continental shelf, including safety zones around continental shelf installations, of the laws and regulations of the coastal state applicable in accordance with this convention to the exclusive economic zone or the continental shelf, including such safety zones. 3. The right of hot pursuit ceases, as soon as the ship pursued enters the territorial sea of its own state, or of a third state. 4. Hot pursuit is not deemed to have begun unless the pursuing ship has satisfied itself, by such practicable means as may be available that the ship pursued, or one of its boats, or other craft working as a team and using the ship pursued as a mother ship is within the limits of the territorial sea, or, as the case may be, within the contiguous zone, or the exclusive economic zone, or above the continental shelf. The pursuit may only be commenced after a visual or auditory signal to stop has been given at a distance which enables it to be seen or heard by the foreign ship. 5. The right of hot pursuit may be exercised only by warships or military aircraft, or other ships or aircraft clearly marked and identifiable as being on government service and authorized to that effect. 6. Where hot pursuit is effected by an aircraft. a. The provisions of paragraphs 1 to 4 shall apply mutatis mutandis. b. The aircraft giving the order to stop must itself actively pursue the ship until a ship, or another aircraft of the coastal state, summoned by the aircraft, arrives to take over the pursuit, unless the aircraft is itself able to arrest the ship. It does not suffice to justify an arrest outside the territorial sea that the ship was merely cited by the aircraft as an offender, or suspected offender if it was not both ordered to stop and pursued by the aircraft itself, or other aircraft, or ships which continue the pursuit without interruption. 7. The release of a ship arrested within the jurisdiction of a state and escorted to a port of that state for the purposes of an inquiry before the competent authorities may not be claimed solely on the ground that the ship, in the course of its voyage, was escorted across a portion of the exclusive economic zone, or the high seas, if the circumstances rendered this necessary. 8. Where a ship has been stopped, or arrested outside the territorial sea in circumstances, which do not justify the exercise of the right of hot pursuit, it shall be compensated for any loss or damage that may have been thereby sustained.